Շնորակալություն, 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 Հիսուս։ Shut up. 
Welcome to youth, and I'm here today to give a message that God gave to me, and well, let, let's start. So I want to read from Matthew 8, 2, and so it says, and behold, a leopard came to him and worshiped him, saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Then Jesus put out his hand and touched him saying, I am willing, be cleansed. Immediately, his leprosy was cleansed. And so at first sight, when we read this, we're like, okay, well, you know, it's just, you know, Jesus, you know, he healed many people. And so why is this different from the rest? And so what the Spirit pointed out to me was, this is setting an example. And the example it's setting is, God is showing us what should we do when we come to him. And so if we read it again, it says, And behold, a leopard came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. And so first, he came to the Lord. And that's something that we struggle with in our lives. Well, what I, that's something I struggle with a lot, where I, you know, every day you're going through life and sinning and, of course, asking for repentance. But there comes a point where, you know, we, we start to doubt, and we're like, well, what if he doesn't, and what if we're not worthy? And, and what this says here is, he comes to the Lord first, he worships him second, and he says, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. So he has no doubt in his mind that God will make him clean. And so to continue, it says, then Jesus put his hand out and touched him, saying, I am willing, be cleansed. Immediately, his leprosy was cleansed. And that word immediately stood out for me. Because in life, we, when we come to the Lord, we don't, we, we think that, okay, you know, you know, this might happen, it may happen, it, you know, he could, you know, we, we, we come to saying, oh Lord, you know, if you can cleanse us. But it says in, in uh, 8.3, or sorry, 8.2, it says, you can make me clean. And so it shows that the leper, you know, who's at the bottom of society, really, like the bottom, he's, re he's rejected and shunned by everyone, and it just shows that he comes to Christ without doubt. And immediately, immediately, his leprosy was cleansed. You know, and, and that just shows how God is waiting for us. He, we are the ones who are resistant, who, who we don't want to, we, we're, if it may be that we think we're not worthy, or which we're not, but that's why Christ died on the cross. And this just, it's such a powerful couple verses that it's really, it wraps up our light, our, our relationship with Christ, and how we should come to the Lord at all times, because he's always willing. And, you know, the the example is made through many parables, um, you know, of the, um, I think Brother Ari was preaching on that a couple weeks ago, and, and that's where I started pondering. I'm like, well, am I, am I the leper, you know, and is the leprosy my sin? And the Bible, so Jesus says that he talks with parables, and I think this is a perfect example of one, where he's giving us this leper, and he, we actually, like, I see myself, 
where I, I see that I am reluctant, that I, I may not immediately run to Christ. And I might think that, oh, he, I doubt and I do, et cetera, and et cetera, and I just I postpone it. And, and then I'm like, well, you know, maybe this and maybe that. But, but when you're truly sure, it just shows what Christ can do for us. And I want to pray that we come to Christ and we don't, we don't postpone, we don't doubt, and we just, we don't put him on the back burner. Because sometimes in our lives, we just, oh, you know, okay, let's, let me do this and this, then I'll go to Christ, or let me, let me get this done, and, and then I'll come, and then I'll repent, and I'll, I'll be good, I'll be on good terms with him. And I think the best time is now. Um, and it just shows that you're, I mean, this literally, the Bible says immediately he was cleansed. I mean, is not what we want. And so I would like to pray um, and just, first of all, thank the Lord for us being here. Praise the Lord and pray that we also come to Christ and be healed. Father God, I pray, I bring this youth to you, Lord. I praise your name in heaven, Father. For Lord, you are all great and mighty, Lord. Let your spirit guide us, Lord. Lord, let your spirit open the Bible, and every word is there for a reason. Lord, let your name be praised, Father. Let us come to you, Lord. Let us come to you and be humble so that you may heal us. And we see you will immediately heal us, Lord, because you are a loving God, Lord. Let us not be resistant to your love, Lord. Let us embrace your love, Father, as you have done for us, Lord. When you died on the cross and spilled your blood, Father, let us, let us not be hesitant to come and truly claim claim what you your cross lord i pray this all in the name of god jesus christ and the holy spirit amen Yes, amen. See how it says? Worshipped. So this is the part that we have to do it together. Worship him, okay? I know Mikish Dishvara or Hayren Tarerova, but try to do it because it's most important thing in your life. Inch metsu rashalien kogorzerat. Parkovelet svatzirkire. Artar uchashmariten uginereko. Surtakavor. Varsatsnenk mer zainere, yev paravorenk mer surta kavorin.
Oh, <laughs> 